Are we all here? Salah, shall we start? Yeah. <coughs> so, um, let's start with my name. My name is Kipriano, Kipriano. So you may think that I'm going to tell you today that technical analysis is uh, the best method to use and all this stuff. But actually, it's not going to be like this, right? So it's another method that we use to forecast uh, where the markets are going, right? So uh, my target is to give you those three tools today. You take them, you use them from tomorrow, right? So, and then you will decide if you like technical analysis or not. What kind of trend do we have here? I have to look for two tops and two bottoms successively higher, or two tops and two bottoms successively low. Come on, I challenge you. What kind of trend do we have? We have another trend. All right, where? Mm, here. Here. Yeah. So when I ask you about the trend, do you think that I'm asking what was happening in 2003? Okay. When I say, what, what trend do we have now? I mean, the last part was probably. We have an uptrend as well. Okay, and then you say, okay, uptrend, you mean still from here, could be an uptrend or something. So something is missing. If I tell you this secret, then all the trends, all over the world, all over the instruments that you are checking, will make sense. Excuse me, uh, yes. how do you determine how many years you're going to take? More than one year can be any man? You said more than one year, and you pick up at the, the top. Right? <coughs> Where is the top? Yeah. So you pick up only one top. Yeah. So how do you determine that it can be two years or three years? Okay, if I, if I have a case like this one. I will show you more clear, my more complicated market because this is clear, right? One top and we go down, right? But if you had a case like this, right? Which is the last six to seven years, right? So from here up to here is three years. Do you mind now to check that before we had an uptrend 10 years ago? Uh, seven years ago, we had a downtrend. Uh, uh, five years ago, we had an uptrend. Do you want to check this one? For whom? What, what, what you are going to discover here? But this top was three years ago. If it's more than one year, you take it from here. Finish. That's it. Okay, so you, you sort of check when the last trend is starting. Yeah, that's right. Which is logical, right? There is no nuclear physics again or uh, whatever. So here, we, you say, if I take it from here, is it OK? I said, if it's more than a year, by definition, you are correct. What kind of trend do you have here? Downtrend. Finish. So sometimes it's happening, if you take it the last three years, to be a range, right? And you say, ah, uh, uh, it's an uptrend. Come on. This part is a clear range for the last three years. This is the good picture we have to see, because you can have a resistance here, a support here or something inside and so on, okay? And definitely I'm telling you again, then the monthly candlesticks for the yearly time frame is not for us. It's for those that they want to, say, to decide about the reserves of a bank. If it's this, you are joke. It's okay, but if you're just a trader, you don't even want to check it. Uh, of course, you have to check it because you have to have the big picture in your mind. Well, actually, the whole session was amazing. Okay, thank you. Uh, well, um, now I can understand exactly what's about like reading the market and um, reading the future of the market, maybe. Um, if I'm a trader, I know what to take a position or not. Good. Yes, right. uh, it was very useful to you. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's go to Florence. Um, what I particularly liked was, again, the time frame and clarification on how we should look at um, you know, different time frames and all that. Okay. You don't say that at all, right? It's Not really, no. Okay. Well, when you give your opinion at least, or even the clients, they're asking you how to use it yeah. correctly. Exactly. Right? You just tell them a few things and then send them to Crystal. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, sir. So. Yeah, um, yeah, the volume of trend is very interesting. Okay, good, the trend. Actually, this is our job. We have to follow the trend, and now I just add one of the oscillators that we are using, because we are using three oscillators for the confirmation. So how to find out if it's the end of the trend? <coughs> you understand? If you know what is a trend, and you can see the end of the, the possible end of the trend following the next figure swing, believe me, this is a gift that I'm giving you today. Right? So please use it. Right? Good, thank you very much.
for me, I'm into other commodities, so I mainly use fundamental and you know the estate or the market. So I never use the technical side. Of yes, just try it a little bit. It was very interesting. Yes, I told you from the beginning. I don't say that this is the one thing. So you see the oil. You see some reports now that are talking about how much is going to go the oil. Maybe it's going to be a correction. Maybe it's, uh, then you see a failure swing already on the day. Yeah. Right? Finish. It's going yeah, to go down. Exactly. Break the 120, it's going to be a good correction. That's it. It's a confirmation to yeah. your views. To, to your views. Okay, good. So, the gentleman, uh, Fadaf. Yeah, for very useful, I like how to detect the trends on the chart the use of the uh, momentum, okay. and um, especially playing with the current periods. Yeah. Okay, that's the secret, right? Between you and me, right? So thank you very much, Peter. Yeah, for me the same thing as the time frame, time frame, time frame. Just before I would look at, you know, daily, but I'd look at daily over a period of three months. That's right, or well, maybe three years. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's thing that that's something that you have to start using it, and especially, you know, I trained a couple of uh, those ladies that they are on the TVs and uh, um, and they are showing the charts, right? I told them, please. Stop doing it. Right? Just use a chart that is going to be, if it's the hour, it don't show 100 days. Of course. Right? Just show the correct time frame. Okay, so thank you very much. All right?